harvestmen, like the eastern harvestmen depicted here, and other species depicted in this video as well, are classified in the class Arachnida, along with spiders, scorpions, ticks, and mites. Um, they have two body parts, as do the other members of this group, although in harvestmen they are fused. They have eight pairs of legs, and they have appendages near the mouth known as chelicerae, as one can see in this image. Harvestmen belong to their own separate order of arachnids, separate from the order which contains the spiders. There are about 6,000 species of harvestmen, and this order goes back to the fossil record to the Devonian period, meaning that this lineage separated from that of spiders uh, of hundreds of millions of years ago, about 400 million years ago, and that harvestmen, therefore, um, may be more closely related to other arachnids such as mites than they are to spiders. Harvestmen are not spiders. One can tell because unlike spiders which have two body parts, in harvestmen the cephalothorax and abdomen are fused. The abdomen has segments unlike spiders where it is unsegmented at least since ancient fossil forms. Harvestmen have one pair of eyes, not the spider three to four pairs, and these eyes are typically located as a dot in the middle of the cephalothorax as they face laterally to the sides. Instead of spider reproduction, where males release sperm onto a special web and then use their appendages known as pedipalps to deliver them to the female, um, male harvestmen use an intermittent organ to introduce sperm into the body of the female during copulation. Harvestmen do not have silk glands, unlike spiders. They do not have fangs which can inject venom, unlike spiders. And they defend themselves by scent glands, uh, which are located near the first pair of legs, and also the use of detachable legs, which may distract a predator while the harvestman escapes. While virtually all spiders are carnivorous, most harvestmen are omnivorous. They can feed on small arthropods, snails, worms, but they can also feed on plants, fungi, and dead material, with some species being primarily scavengers on dead material. 